Alright guys, your buddy Ken Dips here today. We are playing some more Yakuza like a dragon. Let's uh, continue off our, our storyline. We gotta find out where... Um, what the chairman wants to tell you as a secret. So, yeah. So here we go. Let's do this. Watch me. You're in it. Right. Cool. Bring it on. Take your best I'll shot. I'll take it. I'll take it. good. Let's get nutty. Chief. Hmm? My friend's got some questions about the day I was dumped in this town. Yeah. I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban, or dump him at a hospital. If you don't mind telling us, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Hmm, I see. Fine. I'll tell you, it's as good a time as any. Uh, uh, what? There's an old tradition in this homeless camp. A responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years. What responsibility? On occasion, when we're asked, we dispose of bodies. What? Bodies? Yeah. There's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They... Uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies. Whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten. No matter how nasty. We dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? Back during the bubble, we got one every month. Or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn. Arakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. It applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. A uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid, then let them go free, while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? In the criminal underworld, there's always people wanting to fake their own death. Gamblers, guys on the run, anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here, and we honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. Is that agreement why you saved me? This live body rule? <sighs> you got it. What sort of guy dropped me off here? I mean, probably just someone from the family. I had no reason to check or anything. The guy lugged you out of the trunk of a car. You were covered in blood. He paid me and left. Didn't say a single thing the whole time. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the? Hmm? After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was, I'm counting on you, Ichi. What would that even mean? No clue. But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. Look, Ichiban. What? I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. When you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You were only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Huh? Never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything. Hey, isn't this where people have been seeing that masked killer? Huh? Oh yeah, that sign! It's the same one from the video, right? <gasps> wow, you're right! No way! This place is iconic! We should look around a bit. What if he's actually here? Yeah, let's go! Did she say iconic? I'd get it if this place was in a movie or TV show or something, but not for some murderer. Tell me about it. Michan's place has gotten reservations cancelled because of it. Seriously? This rumor's becoming a real problem. All this talk about a masked killer sounds crazy. Are they for real? Maybe that guy could fill me in. up hmm?
Hm? Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Hmm? Hey. 
Hey, you okay? You don't look so hot. Oh, Kasuga-san! No, I'm all right. You sure? You shouldn't overwork yourself, you know? I'm sure. I have to do this for Makun. <coughs> hey, Megumi! Megumi! Are you okay? Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm okay. I have to keep earning donations. You should take it easy for now. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let's get you home. Listen to your mother, sweetheart. Okay. I'm so sorry to get you involved in all of this. Would you happen to be Kasuga-san? Mm hmm? What gave it away? Megami's told us a lot about you. She said a friendly man with shrub hair has been helping her out. Oh, yeah. Thanks to your help, she's had great success in gathering donations. We wanted to express our gratitude earlier, but... No, oh, it's no problem. But what about Megumi? I know it's for her little brother, but don't you think she might be working too hard? She must have heard my wife and I talking about our financial troubles and taken it upon herself to make things better. We're here now because we were contacted by her school. It seems she hadn't been showing up lately. Skipping school to collect donations for her brother. I'm ashamed it took us so long to find out. Don't overdo it yourself, all right? Yes, I'll certainly try. Thank you. Well, I'd better get back to work. Once again, thank you for today. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. I didn't know Megumi had it that bad. Maybe there's something I can do. This is the new Soji model? <laughs> Indeed it is! Fresh out of the lab! Are you impressed? Well... I knew it'd be bigger, but this thing's friggin' huge! This will be her maiden voyage into the outside world. But she's quite something, isn't she? I call her... Soji Maru! Soji Maru? It's like naming her cleaning robot. It's my hope that Sochimaru becomes an unofficial mascot of Ichincho. A friendly, easy to remember name goes a long way. Well, with how big the damn thing is, I doubt people will forget it anytime soon. But yeah, friendly's good. That said, I would like to test out some of Sochimaru's features. Are you free at the moment? Get this trial run underway! Great! Soji Maru! Activate test mode! Thank you for waiting, Professor Architect. Activating test mode. Whoa! It talks? <laughs> this is just the tip of the iceberg! Watch this. Soji Maru! Read me my fortune for today! Today, you will be cursed with bad luck. Your dog will most likely fight you. Yeesh. I suppose I'll have to be extra careful when I feed my dog. <laughs> okay then, Sojimaru, what can you tell me about today's weather? Today will be slightly cold. 
Wearing a coat is advised. Now that she mentions it, it is a little chilly. Sojimaru, I'd like some coffee, if you please. Here is your coffee. Caution, beverage may be hot. That's cool as hell. This Sojimaru can do anything, huh? <laughs> exactly. She is fully loaded with all kinds of features. She also has a low-frequency massage mode that makes excellent use of her built-in massage arm. She's great, right? Right? Now then, let's move on to testing her suction capability. Sojimaru, activate cleanup! Activating cleanup. Sensors online. Sojimaru, activating set. Whoa! She can suck up something that big? You're amazing, Sojimaru. Thank you. I'll try. Ho, ho, ho! With Sojimaru in charge, cleanup will be practically instantaneous after citywide events like festivals, Halloween, and soccer matches. I, Sojimaru, will endeavor to help. Even litter might be a thing of the past if this gal's around to pick it up, huh? I agree! For the grand finale, I'll show you her forbidden high power mode that's still a work in progress. Forbidden? It's this thing's first time outside, and you're gonna test out something that's forbidden? Approximately 980 of the lab tests yielded positive results, so there shouldn't be any problems. All right, it's your vacuum. Shall we then? Sojimaru, activate high power mode! Sojimaru, activating high power mode. Hmm? I hear something, but nothing's happening. That's strange. Well, whenever there's a problem, I simply give our friend here a little kick. So did you, Mari? Activating. High power. What the hell's it doing? Is that music? Oh, this is terrible! Sojimaru is completely out of control! And yes, that's the healing music that plays during massage mode, in case you were wondering. Yeah, it would be pretty soothing if this shit wasn't happening right now. What's this thing's deal? You said it was successful in 980 tests or whatever. Forgive me, it seems I didn't kick the right spot. Hey, my wallet! Shit, that's all my money! I'm kidding. Hey, give it back, you glowy-ass hockey puck! Stop! Don't provoke her! Activating sensors. Target detected. Something engaged. Ah! Sojimaru, it's me! Stop sucking! You are dropped the emergency shut-off button! Emergency shutoff button. The one from earlier. Slide the lid from Sojibaru's underside. Input the security pin, then use a flathead screwdriver to remove the screw. This will force a rod into action, and from there you can. You crazy? You place a shutoff button behind all that? I'm just gonna punch my way to it. Cool? Mm, my precious Sojimaru. Oh, but I suppose we have no choice. But don't just punch away at the thing. Aim for her attachments. Attachments? What attachments? Sojimaru's body is made of special carbon used by the United States military. You couldn't damage it even if you tried. The lids on her left and right side that served you coffee earlier are the most frail. Aim for those and bring her down. Coffee lids on her left and right. Got it. Well... 
Take your best You're shot. Get Take this. A gift for you. Right. Bring it on. Mm. I got this. Check this out. You're gonna be in a world. You're in it now. Take your best. chance to strike at the heart her battery right I'll keep that in mind cool I'm not backing down shot. eyes on you I'm up let's go you're gonna be in a world of going in <laughs> well Take this. A gift for you. I got this. A chance of garbage. Right. Check this out. You're in it now. This is how it is. You're gonna yeah. get stomped. You're in it. Oh yeah? Watch me. Let's go! Prepare to suffer. Let's go! Let's go! Bring it on. <gasps> Secret code processing. Verify. You have awakened my true power. What the hell? Did you give this thing some kind of second form, Doc? She's going into hyperpower mode! Stay vigilant, Lord Shrub! Hyperpower? Why? It's her next mode after high power mode. It's only supposed to be able to activate with a secret code, but I believe your punches may have triggered it. Who put secret codes in a cleaning robot? Rats! I didn't think our plan would backfire like this. Don't get cocky. Well, you're gonna get stomped. Take this. A gift for you. You're in. Here we go. Best shot. Shutting down. Shutting down. Oh, Lord Shrub, I am eternally grateful. You're a hero. What a nightmare. With how big I made her, it was actually quite pleasant. Yes, it wasn't the same for you. Take the fish. That was rough on both of us. <sighs> I suppose I'm still a ways away from practical application. However, Sojimaro's issues are now clear. Time to return to the lab and apply the fix. You bounce back pretty quick after an epic failure, don't you? Sojimaru's my pride and joy. No matter what happens, even if she disappoints me, she's the apple of my eye. And on the plus side, I now know the pleasures of being a giant piece of garbage! I'm starting to wonder about you, Doc. Now, as to the payout for your investment, it uh, seems it'll be a while before we see any profit. You don't say. I know it's not much for compensation, but feel free to rent Sojimaru anytime! 
Uh, at a discount, of course. Did you say rent? She'd be a riot at parties, don't you think? <laughs> Her AI also specializes in consulting. I'm sure that'll prove useful as well. Well, I should get back to the lab. Lord Shrub, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, this was real swell. <laughs> I'm counting on you to take good care of Sojimaru. Farewell! <laughs> and away we go! The guy builds a vacuum only to get sucked up by it. Can't say I saw that coming. Huh? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Huh, my wallet's still stuck in that damn machine! Get back here! Watch me. Let's go! You're gonna be in a world. Oh, life! Be it, then, no Prepare yourself. Don't get caught. Bring it on. Right. I'm up! Who's hungry? Me! Mmm, this fried rice is so soft and buttery. If you like it that much, why didn't you order the bigger size? Must I explain this to you? Ordering small is the smart way to eat. What's better, filling up on what first caught your eye, or getting to try a little bit of everything? You know what? You're pretty dang smart. Well, eat up, because the food will soon be gone. Huh? Someone say Jungi Han? Close, but no cigar. Anyway, it's too bad I can't order half portions all the time. Well, I could make that happen for you easy. All you gotta do is take me out and give me half your plate. Oh, that's reassuring. Then in that case, I'll make sure to leave you half the check. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh, delicious. <laughs>
うございました。はい
で行かれますかそれでは Oh, Jungi Han. If you're here drinking by yourself, I might as well join you. Is that so? Well, I have no reason to tell you no. Do as you like. By the way, Kasuga san, there's something I should tell you. Hmm? What's up? I was contacted by someone in the Komijul. I've been told a group of people have been looking into me as of late. They seem to have learned that Jungi Han is somewhere in Yijincho. No fooling. What's that all about? No, we don't have much to go on at the moment. Nonetheless, we verified suspicious activity in my wake. That said, if they come seeking hostility, you and the others may be dragged into it along with me. You know I don't mind getting dragged into your bullshit. We're tight. That's precisely why I don't want to trouble you. Don't be stupid. What's a friend for if you can't cause him some trouble every now and then? I welcome it with open arms, in fact. I can handle whatever shady shit you can throw at me. <laughs> Such enthusiasm. I can't say I'm not amused. So, any guess as to who these guys might be? I can't be 100% certain, but it's highly likely that they're remnants of the Jingon Mafia. Jingon Mafia? Then they're basically old allies, right? It's hard to say. To them, I'm just cannon fodder impersonating their dead boss. Perhaps they see that as unforgivable, in which case their goal would be to punish me. Punish? It's possible they'd go so far as to kill me. Then couldn't we just avoid all this shit by saying you're not Jungi Han anymore? Maybe so. It's gotta be weird being another person forever. It's probably best to just be yourself, right? If I were you, I'd try to get my old name and face back. <laughs> A name is one thing. A face, however, it's not something you can change time and time again. Moreover, I'm still waiting for more information on my pursuers. We shouldn't need to take action just yet. Well, it's your call, so I'm good with that. But won't it be a drag if you get caught with your pants down and you're left wishing you would have been ready? <laughs> right. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Man, you're always playing it so fucking cool. Would it kill you to listen to someone else for once? I'd ask that you refrain from praise. You'll only embarrass me. It wasn't a damn compliment. Welcome. Thanks. Pretty sure that girl Conoco's special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still. Huh? Ha! You gotta be kidding! Yo, what the hell are you doing? What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you like do that shit at the sumo stable or something? 
I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Huh? Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small, with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. A bottle of sake? The culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner. My brother. My family boss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. His partner must be some kind of monster. That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice. Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank. But if you insist on stopping me, then I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss. Should I open it? Sweet!
What's this? This doll's got an orange for a head. Weird. There's a button on it. What happens if I... Yoroshikumichi! Oh, shit! It talks? Ah, oh, there's one over there. Yet another Michio-kun. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, did he surprise you? Uh, yeah. Guess he kind of got me. This little monster yours? Monster? <laughs> Heavens no. This is the one and only Ono Michio-kun. Ono Michio-kun? The hell's that? Ono Michio-kun is a mascot created to represent the proud port city of Ono Michi in Hiroshima. I'm Hironaka, a producer for all things Michio-kun. Right. So, uh, this thing represents Ono Michi how exactly? Surely you're joking. Just look at him. A charming face based on the Hasaku, a specialty of the Setouchi region. A steamy Onomichi ramen hat to add a touch of flair. Onomichi ramen is a staple of Onomichi culture, after all. A cute fish pouch to represent the city's wide variety of delicious seafood. <laughs> cool fishing boots to highlight Onomichi's strong fishing industry. And a trendy shirt with his surname, Ono, in bold. He really is the perfect mascot, don't you think? Why, just looking at him brings to mind all that Onomichi has to offer. I don't know about that. He's pretty popular as of late. Even this figure here sells out rather quickly. He's the featured product in the Onomichi souvenir section of our new shop here in town. You're selling this in a souvenir shop? Look how detailed he is! Isn't he exquisite? Well, when you put it that way, sure. The ramen's got all its toppings, too. Oh, yeah. Didn't this thing talk to me earlier? Yes. A voice plays when you press the button. Observe. Oh, no! Michio da! Yoroshiku Michi! Oh, no! Oh, isn't he great? The way he says Michi sure is cute, huh? Yeah, sure. I was thinking earlier his voice is actually pretty neat. Yes, well, only the genuine article will speak. The fakes made overseas don't hold a candle to the real ones. Fakes? Uh, yes, uh, like this one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Looking at them side by side, they're definitely different. I'm happy he's become so popular, but popularity means there'll always be those looking to make easy money from shoddy imitations. Many of them are obscenely poor quality. It troubles me to think that these fakes would even attempt to pass as Michio-kun. Hey, this fake's got a button, too. Wanna try it out? No, wait, please, don't press that. That just makes me want to press it even more. Never tell me not to press a button. Huh? It's not talking. Huh? <coughs> uh, are you okay? I tried to warn you. Oh no, your hair's all frizzy now. It wasn't before. Anyway, what the hell was that? Well... Got it. So the fakes have shitty batteries and might blow up. That's right. It's bad enough that they're fake. But it's even worse that they explode. I've been going around collecting them wherever I see them being sold. But when it came to hauling off the fakes, the box turned out to be a little heavier than I thought, and uh, I sort of tripped. Uh, to make matters worse, uh, the genuine ones got mixed up in there too. Careless handling of these fakes could result in an explosion. So I'm at a bit of a loss here. 
So you basically made a minefield. Uh, recently, it's been difficult with my poor eyesight to see the finer details of things, making it even harder to tell the real ones from the fakes. Oh, this is all so troubling. I was just on my way to deliver the genuines to the shop, too. Even if I were to ask for help, I would need to find someone with both decent eyesight and a hairstyle that won't look all crazy after an explosion. Where am I going to find someone like that? Hmm? Mm hmm? Yeah, good luck with that. I'll see you later. And now wait just a minute! Oh, come on. I'm really pretty anti-getting blown up. Oh, don't be such a sour puss. Won't you help me in my time of need? Not many people have frizzy hair, the strength to withstand explosions, and time on their hands like you do. Seriously, do you even hear yourself right now? Please. He's the star of our Onomichi souvenir section. Each one of these figures is thoughtfully hand-painted and assembled by the people of Onomichi. These are all done by hand? Indeed they are. The local grandmothers of Onomichi do it as a side job, as a way of sharing their beloved city with the rest of Japan. Even the children help put the finishing touches on them. I want to get these Michio-kun figures to as many people as possible, for each one contains the hearts and souls of Onomichi. Can you please help me gather the Michio-kuns? Uh, let me think. All right, sure. I'll help you out. Really? Oh, thank you so much! Uh, oh, um... I just realized... I haven't asked your name. I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. I'm glad to have you on board. Uh, this way, please. The, okay.
What's this? Like that's all. Wow, thank you very much. You were just the man for the job. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Glad I could help. But what are you gonna do with all those fakes still lying around? That's gotta be dangerous. Oh, that's okay. I'll have the staff pick them up later. They're all fakes, so there's no need to be careful anymore. Sure, whatever you say. I must say. I was somewhat touched by how passionately you analyzed those Michiku figures. <laughs> you're no longer just Kasuga-san. From now on, you're Ichiban Kasuga Michio Master! No, I think Kasuga suits me just fine. Oh, come now. Not many could have done what you did. Anyway, there were a lot more fakes than I thought. Once a character gets even the teensiest bit popular, it's not long before the fake goods come rolling out. In fact, some fakes are made so exceptionally well that even the professionals can't tell the difference. Damn. Even so, fakes are still fakes. We simply can't let them circulate. It would be inexcusable to those who work so hard to make Michio-kun goods with love, and to the fans as well. Right. Buying a cheap knockoff's not gonna help Ono Michi or Michio-kun. Indeed. And this isn't just about them. Fill the world with enough fakes, and eventually that which is made with love and care will cease to exist altogether. I don't want honest craftsmen and the fans who appreciate them to ever have to see such a day. Yeah, I feel you there. That's why, as Michio-kun's producer, I vowed to do all I can to fight back against these fakes! Hmm. Well, I'll help out in any way I can. <sighs> Thank you. I've been wanting to take down these pesky forgers. They've yet to reveal themselves. Well, I can't say I blame you. Just stay out of trouble, all right? I know! Why not take this Michio-kun figure as thanks for today? Oh? You sure? Absolutely. Be sure to take good care of him. Mm -hmm. Why is his head all beat up? This costume a fake, too? Oh, no. Quite the contrary. That one there is special. Special? A few years ago, there was a man who put on that very Michio-kun costume back in Onomichi. That fateful day was what kicked off Michio-kun's rise to stardom. I believe that man's sense of justice and honesty breathed new life into Michio-kun. <laughs> I've been carefully saving that costume there on the chance that one day he'll return and decide to become Michio-kun once again. Several of these costumes have been made, mind you. That one is special. <laughs> Sounds like he left an impression on you. Hope I can be half as cool as that someday. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, he certainly was unique. Anywho, you really saved me today. Now I need to hurry and deliver these figures to the shop. I hope to see you soon, Kasuga-san. Keep your head up. Yeah, see you around. Mascots, huh? Protecting these guys is serious business, I guess. Huh? Again?
Guys, your buddy Kintips here. We're gonna stop the.